All right, next question is from Jazz Fitness. How do you know if you're getting results because of what you're doing or in spite of what you're doing? Uh, you're going you're gonna to mess with your Jazz head. Fitness knows how to scat. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's a... <laughs> <laughs> if you... The, okay, you got to be careful not to play mind games with yourself because if you get trapped in the cycle of, am I doing enough? Is this perfect? Um, that could really mess with you. So number one... Are you getting good results? Do you feel really good? Are you getting good sleep? Do you feel healthy? Are you getting stronger? All that stuff. If it's a yes, then I would say you're probably okay. You're probably doing an okay job. Here's where things get kind of weird. If you're doing all that, getting great results, I feel good, I'm strong, I'm getting good sleep, healthy, healthy libido, skin looks good, everything looks good. And then I sit there and I ask myself, could I be getting there faster? Mm. Am I doing the the right things? Am I perfect? What ends up happening from that is you end up overdoing things. This is a game I used to get in with myself. If I saw some progress, then I would add more. If I had a great workout, wow, that was good. I got stronger. Next week, I'm going to do even more. And you get trapped in this in this cycle of questioning yourself. So really, just you got to look at all those things. And if all those things are doing well, you're probably doing okay. Well, I, I have a kind of a key indicator for you that you're not. most people are going to like to hear, but it's true, is if you're getting really fast results, <clears throat> they're probably not good mm. because the body does not build muscle and burn body fat very fast. It's not a fast process. It's a very slow process. That's a good point. So if you know your goal, let, in, take either end of the spectrum. If your goal is to lose body fat, you know you have a 30, 50 pound goal to lose weight, and you know you're losing five pounds a week, you know or more. Uh, not good, you know. Even if that's your goal, it's still that's not that's too fast. Your body is most certainly not just losing body fat at that rate. So if you're, and then the same thing is true if your goal is to build. You want to build muscle. You want to add twenty pounds or ten pounds of muscle to your body, and you're gaining two pounds a week. You're not gaining two pounds of muscle a week. It's just that this, the body doesn't do it that fast. Not unless you're on anabolic steroids. So if mm -hmm. you're an all natural person, even then, yeah, you're not yeah, gaining right, two pounds right. of exactly. lean body. That's my point. Is so honestly, <clears throat> a, a, a really good indicator that you might be, you know, seeing results in spite of what you're doing or doing it right is if it's really fast. Mm -hmm. This is a very slow process. And if you're seeing major fluctuations on the scale week over week, it's too quick, regardless of what direction you're trying to go. Uh, and that's, that's a very, very good point. Um, I, I would see this with weight loss a lot with clients. You know, oh my God, I'm doing everything right. I lost, you know, 12 pounds this month. And I said, whoa, you know, hold on a second. Right. Let's do the body fat test and see what's happening. He's like, oh, we lost some muscle. Looks like we also lost a lot of water. Um, you know, I would look at their program. It usually consisted of a lot of cardio and a dramatic, you know, reduction in calories. Here's another thing. Um, is what you're doing uh, something you can maintain? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's say you are getting good results or you think you're getting good results and you think you feel good and all this other stuff. But then you look at your routine, your diet, and you're like, and you got to be honest with yourself. Could I do this forever? Right. If the answer is no, then you're probably either A, come up with a good exit strategy so that you don't get this crazy rebound or B, you know, Change your routine. Maybe you are doing, you know, too much. Maybe it's something that's not going to benefit you in, in the long term. But again, I, you know, I, I do stress this: don't get stuck in the mental game of, "Am I doing enough? I know I feel good, but maybe I could do more." Because that cycle, uh, boy, can that spin in your head? Yeah, I keep waiting to get like a specific metric for this. Like I know HRV has been trying to tackle. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, based on how you feel, like how to interpret that on, you know, the variability of your heart rate uh, in the morning. And also like we've talked about just testing out like your, your force output and your grip and like how strong your grip was, which I thought is smart. Like, so if there's a way that you can measure, I think strength is just a good measure in general uh, to see uh, whether or not, uh, you know, you're progressing or you should back off a little bit uh, and just keep that always in mind. Everything else aesthetic wise and, uh, you know, weight loss or, you know, muscle gain, it's all going to revolve around like maintaining yeah, that strength. And pay attention to a lot of signs, not just your, your workouts and, or your weight loss or weight gain. Like, you know, are you sleeping good? How is your energy? Do you have good mood? Does your skin look good? Do you have any signs of poor health? Um, you know, you could be progressing in the gym, but be, but you could be having bad skin or start to notice you're irritable or, you know, you'll see bodybuilders do this when they get really, really, really lean. At some point, 
They start to lose their sex drive. They start to become irritable, yet they're becoming more shredded. Is that something that would be, would you consider that, you know, going in the right direction? And uh, definitely when you throw in the, is it sustainable question, the answer is almost always no. So those are the things you want to kind of ask yourself. But then at the end of the day, if everything feels good, um, just relax, relax in it. You're probably okay.